Previously on The Fur is Gone, the mystery of Edwin Drood came to a close after the city intervened. There's too much blood on your hands. There's too many bugs in your theater. Linda Kearns of Broadway, New York, Titanic and Rat Race fame, was hired to direct a classic tale of love, laughter, and high society, Pride and Prejudice. It's going to sell tickets. It's going to put butts in the seats. And I got paid. <laughs> and the audience is going to pay. And we're going to make money. And that's what theater is about, making money. Sayla Victor auditioned for the role of Elizabeth, the role of a lifetime. How could you do it? How could you have hurt her, having once known her? Can you deny that you became... Okay. That's all. That's it. That's oh, well, uh, yeah. Take it apart. <laughs> Sayla, you're too old. So I decided to produce. <laughs> Producing is so much better than acting. It's where the money's at. But I cast myself as the understudy to Elizabeth, just in case something should happen. Break legs. Others from previous productions were lucky enough to be cast, and they said they'd work for free. Fired. I was fired from the Sacramento Regional Theater. Two drinks. They were doubles, but anyone can miss an entrance cue. It, it happens. So oh, here I am now, and proud and prejudiced. The job dressed as Shakespeare, greeting the public at SeaWorld, didn't work out, so I'm back at the co op in uh, Pride and Prejudice, playing Mr. Bennett. At least Austin is closer to Shakespeare than lend me a tenor. In Drew, it was great. I had my wife there. I was with her on stage. Uh, I was getting everything. Now I just I, I can't I can't get into character. I'm completely ungrounded. And I mean, Ivy's great, but she's not my wife. Can I ask you to do me a favor? Okay. One second. Can you just can you hold that in front of your face? It just it helps me a lot. Yeah, just go. Ahead. Thank you. My darling, I can't believe this. Is it more difficult to believe this than what you believed in London? <sighs> it's really great. I was um, an assistant stage manager last season on Lend Me a Tenor, and uh, this show I'm the stage manager, so I got promoted. I'm getting paid an extra $20. And um, it's been going really well. The show's super successful. We've been selling out weekends. And the whole cast gets along really well. There's been no drama. Um, actually, some of them might get along a little bit too well. Hey, Tim. Yeah? I just have to check the last like you of the show. Could I have you stand in for Paul for a second? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah right absolutely. Here. Is, is Grayson going to be here? Yeah, she'll be up in one second. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, go. No, 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 wait, wait, Grayson, I thought this was you! Wait, it didn't mean anything! All you redheads look alike! Ugh. All of the women out there are in love with me. I don't know how Bingley and Wickham and the rest stand a chance. Anyway, Emily, my robe. You may admire me. What's it like working with Grayson? Um, she's... okay, I guess. What is your... what is your... Skin feel like. Um, what's going on with you and Paul? Turbs? Yes, turbs. <laughs> nothing. Nothing's going on with me and Paul. Really? Yeah, nothing at all. He's he's whatever. You like you like kiss her, right? Um, yeah. I in the play at the end. Um, almost. What are her lips feel like? I'm on in five. Hey, hey, wait, 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 what what, what, what's her chapstick? I mean, I'm getting texts, I'm getting emails from women just telling me that I'm the perfect Mr. Darcy, and I know. And when I walked in the room, Grayson saw me and her mouth fell open. Not a chance of it. Never. Really? Never. No. No, he and I have known each other for years. Never. I don't know. It's I think so he likes... cute to see you, like, denying it. Like, it's so cute to see you, like, 
when someone finally likes you, it's so cute to see you like denying it like really like coquettishly. Wait, when someone like, finally cute. likes me? Yeah. Oh. It's okay, right? Yeah, that's great. Right. Yeah. You were awesome. Mm. On the next episode of The Fur is Gone, Grayson and Paul continue to fight their chemistry on and off the stage, while others in the cast Grayson! battle their own loves and losses. Grayson! Love is in the air. On The Fur is Gone. If we were going to go on a date together, I would let you know where it was and pick you up. Thanks, Adam. Buy flowers and... <laughs> but we can't go on a date. We have scenes together. Don't be silly. You know what I actually really like about this show? Mm. Uh, Grayson and Paul, they, they're doing a very different take on it. They're mm. like, they're like, oh, Pride and Prejudice, it's about a love story. Or is it? Right. They're like, we don't need any of that yeah. chemistry or... Or, like, electricity or yeah. love. Or love. What if you just take the love story out of take love? Out of it's just a story. Yeah. Just a story. Yeah. You know? And there's no, like, I mean, they say I love you a lot and I right. care for you and I... Right. But I ardently admire you and I'm like, yeah, it's very German, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's very German, yeah, yeah. I love you, yeah, I love yeah, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Schnapps? No, I got some. Yeah.